Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about some Goose Creek fall candles. Um, I have an apple candle haul from Goose Creek. So a week or so ago I did a pumpkin candle haul from Goose Creek. Now we're going to go with apple this time around. Um, they actually do apple really well and they have plenty of choices on their website for fall apple fragrances. And I also feel like Goose Creek has done a really good job over the past couple of years since I've been back here on YouTube of keeping their website very fresh. Um, they do a really good job as far as that's concerned compared to the other major candle companies that I use. Um, they'll drop a series of fall candles, you know, a few here or there. And then a few days later, they'll drop some more, another set of candles, fall candles. And then a few days later, they'll drop some wax melts. A few days later, they'll drop, you know, whatever product they have coming out for fall again. And they just kind of always manage to keep things very fresh on their website. Um, so I find myself visiting their website more than any other candle company right now. And honestly, it's not even close. When I think of the candle company that's probably second in line that I keep my eyes peeled for the most, um, second in line, it's really hard to think of who that is. Maybe Bath & Body Works, but I'm not really visiting their website all that often. I don't like to purchase their candles online. Any chance I can buy in store with Bath & Body Works, I will take that opportunity. So having said that, kudos to Goose Creek for doing a really good job with keeping things new and exciting on their website um, with new releases and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one real quick though, here in this Apple candle haul. Everything I have in this haul contains either the note of apple cider or the note of apple. So in one way or another, this is an entire apple candle haul. And then a fragrance right here that I have loved for many years, almost 10 years now with Goose Creek, um, apple cider. They have this in the room spray now. And guys, it smells exactly like their apple cider candle. Oh, that's gorgeous. Exactly like their apple cider candle. Love this, love to see it out in the room spray. And I use these room sprays quite a bit in my vehicle. So that's something that really comes in handy. So let's get immediately into these candles. I'm gonna start with my repurchases. This one right here is a repurchase um, this year. It was my first time to own it this year. Fell in love with it, Spiked Pumpkin Donut. And I mentioned in my haul, this is basically a very close sibling candle to their pumpkin cider donut fragrance. And really to me, this is a pumpkin apple cider donut. So it's not just a pumpkin cider donut, it's a pumpkin apple cider donut. And it is extremely similar to their pumpkin cider donut fragrance. I love that one. It was a highly recommended fragrance for me last year for the fall, um, one that I gushed about last year. This one right here is no exception. It's really that candle for the most part, just adding an apple to it. And um, the only issue I had with this one, and I'll talk about in an empties video, was after the halfway point, it really did struggle as far as the burn goes. I'll go more in depth on that. So I did wanna pick it up again, love this one a spiked pumpkin donut. And another repurchase. This is actually a candle I talked about last year on my channel. Um, have not repurchased it this year though. This is the first time I've bought it. It's small batch apple cider. And I, I think I'm gonna say the same exact thing that I said last year when I talked about this one. This doesn't really smell like an apple cider. It smells more bakery to me than anything else. Yeah, it's just, it's not an apple cider. And I think I even mentioned last year after I burned it as well, that it really did come across as an apple bakery fragrance. And that's really what's happening here on cold as well. It, it definitely has some sort of uh, either a pie note or maybe a cake note to it. I'm leaning more towards pie though here. More like an apple pie but not exactly an apple pie, just in that family. Um, but that's small batch apple cider, 
Really liked it last year. It performed really well for me. It's just a candle that I feel like it misses the mark as far as what the name says it is and the notes say that it is, but it's still very enjoyable, especially if you like your apple bakery fragrances. And the next one was a candle that was out last year. Ended up missing the boat on this one last year. It flew off of the website uh, from what I remember because it was one that I did have my eyes on. Picked it up this year though, uh, Cider and Sweaters. I would actually, out of the new fragrances that I have, at least new to me fragrances that I have in this haul, this is the one that is the winner out of the three. Oh, that's nice. That's another apple bakery fragrance here. And it really doesn't smell like an apple cider either. Um, there's a warmth to it, a very coziness to this apple here. When I compare it to small batch apple cider, they both have kind of like a warm bakery feel to both of them. I'm gonna smell this one again, the small batch apple cider. Okay. Okay, yeah, they're definitely doing the same thing, just getting there in different paths, I would say. This does definitely feel bakery, probably an apple pie, if I would really try to nail that down as far as what I'm smelling there. This one though has the warmth, it has the spices, the apple and the spices combination. But it also has a warmth to it that really kind of feels like something that's not edible, something that's not foodie, mixed with something that is foodie, an apple bakery. But that's really, really nice. Um, cider and sweaters, glad I actually got around to getting it this time. I'll have an update on this one in an empties video. And another new to me fragrance that came out last year, I wanna say it's Spiced Apple Harvest. Still keeping with that apple theme. This one's really just kind of basic. I feel like it's almost just a fresh Macintosh apple. I mean, if this is spiced, it's spiced to a very small degree. There's not a lot of spices. Don't let that scare you off if you are worried about it being heavily spiced. No, it's a very fresh apple. I could even see there being some pear here with this one. Very simple as far as that goes. Not a lot of spice here. Uh, not deviating too much from their regular Macintosh apple fragrance. But still, a fragrance that I am drawn to anyway because I am an apple fragrance fan. Uh, that's Spiced Apple Harvest. And the last one was a fragrance I was not very fond of, at least here on cold. That could change when it's burning. It's Spiced Fallen Leaves. Pretty sure this one came out last year as well. Still new to me though this year. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it smells like waxy crayons when I first smell it. And I have to kind of smell it over and over again to kind of get rid of that a little bit. I can kind of smell something under that that smells like leaves from Bath and Body Works. So there is like an apple cider, apple, applesauce kind of feels spiced. Maybe something a little bit outdoorsy. It just smells like waxy crayons to me though. It's gotta be something with the lid. The lid has to be making that smell here or at least pushing it into that crayon direction. And you guys probably know what I mean. Open a fresh box of crayons and you'll get that real just waxy smell to them. Underneath it though, it, there is a little bit of a leaves from Bath and Body Works, that spiced apple cider, that kind of fermented apple, um, that apple nectar spiced, it's under there. That waxiness is really just kind of getting in the way though. I don't know, I'm gonna imagine that has something to do with the lid here, maybe the rubber sealant on it. Who knows, that doesn't smell real great on cold. Of course, I'm gonna give it a burn and see how it does. That spiced fallen leaves. Okay guys, there is yet another Goose Creek Fall Haul for you. Um, I think I'm gonna have a Homeworks Apple Candle Haul as well here coming up. I haven't really been too excited about filming that one. So that will probably be the next candle video you see on this channel. 
I do have a Goose Creek wax melt haul coming up as well. Several wax melts, several fragrances to talk about in that haul. So keep an eye out for that one. I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you soon. See ya.